Let's see how well the noise suppression tool works in a real-world scenario using one of my previous voiceovers. I'm curious to see if this tool can further streamline my audio editing workflow. I'll be using a raw, unedited sample of a voiceover from my recent video about DaVinci Resolve starting to work with Intel Art Cards on Linux. I don't have access to a professional sound studio, and I've started using a cardioid condenser mic. If this tool suppresses noise well enough and deletes the clicker sound between takes, it could drastically reduce the time it takes to edit my voiceovers. And if that's the case, it would likely be useful for other content creators as well. I'll start off by trying to use the Dense Unit 2 model, which is usually used for image analysis, particularly medical image segmentation. So it'll be interesting to see how this handles audio spectrograms from Audacity. Advanced options, no advanced options. While I run this, I'll show the resource usage and then speed the process up. It looks like there are six threads at over 70% utilization on my i5-13500. And the whole thing takes about 2 minutes and 45 seconds. So this tool is definitely usable on just the CPU. Well, maybe a relatively recent CPU, at least. Okay, that looks like it definitely got rid of all the clicks. Let's take a listen. This is the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Linux. Hmm. Open okay. Linux. It got rid of a lot of background noise and automatically removed most of the clicker sounds too. But, uh, it sounds like I'm speaking over a landline telephone. So, it did the job, but there's room for improvement. Let's see if the Deep Filternet 2 model offers an improvement in quality. Deep Filternet 2 is supposed to be more directly focused on noise suppression. Deep Filternet 2 loads faster. I'm not sure if that's some sort of caching mechanism or if that's just because Deep Filternet 2 is a model that's actually geared towards noise suppression. Seems like it would be the latter, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's take a listen. This is the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Linux open soon. It didn't really get rid of the background noise in the beginning. Other than that, wow, ignoring the obvious blooper, the audio quality is a big improvement. But it sounds like it keeps leaving a single click. Those shouldn't be too hard to get rid of, but I wonder if Deep Filternet 3 will get rid of the clicks completely. Let's load it up and see. Okay, it got rid of that first patch of background noise, and let's see about the clicks. To resolve. On Linux, open soon. This is the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Linux, open SUSE Linux. The video I have loaded, which is a recording of some Witcher 3 gameplay with my. It's better, but there still seems to be the partial click sound sometimes, or the sound the spring mechanism makes before a full detent. Regardless, it seems like Deep Filternet 2 and 3 could help with cutting down the time I spend working on audio.